Last year, July, taxi drivers handed over a petition to the lawmakers demanding a review of the traffic fines, recognition of drivers by government, as well as complaints about insufficient taxi rings. According to their president, Verna January, the current fines are highly unjustifiable. But after the tabling of the report by the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Constitutional and Legal Affairs in Parliament, the House resolved that the traffic fines shall not be reviewed. This left taxi drivers dissatisfied and have now given Parliament until June 16 to reconsider its decision. Failure to heed to our call for the reduction of traffic fines, uh, they will leave us with no option but to take unspecified action, one of which is a national strike. And they should be warned as per the call of our members, supporters and the general public, this upcoming strike shall and must not be peaceful. If their demands are not met, Verna January warns that they will stage an uncontrollable and chaotic strike like the 2009-2011 taxi strikes, which caused a lot of inconvenience to commuters as they were pulled out of taxis on their way to work. This year, they attempted to have a national strike, but it was not as successful as the previous one. During their strike, taxi drivers threatened to hand in their voter's card at State House, but they now have a change of heart and decided to exercise their democratic right by voting. I'm Lamy Hemingway reporting for NBC News.